how did Link and Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Link could be very persuasive. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up Ah, uh, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Mickey. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? What have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite, girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. Left! 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 I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. It's like Christmas come early. Got him over here. <sighs> Oh, 
Save a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. So late then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. Give thee thy hill on one to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping, Go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May self. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man what's busted up inside eight of us. But it doesn't, it doesn't. No. It done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense. And change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. I can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But a deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. 
She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely.